everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be going through some brand new WWE action figures that are going to be coming to us this year. In the year of 2021, we got we already know quite a bit of figures that we're going to be getting. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you figures that you may want to skip on or you may want to buy and give you my thoughts and opinions on those figures coming soon that you may want to purchase or skip out on or whatever the case may be. You know, relating those to older figures that we've got and, uh, and stuff like that. Just my own personal thoughts and opinions. And this will also let you guys know about some figures that are coming soon or that are out right now that are being found. And you guys can make your own, you know, sort of plays on it and whether you guys want to purchase it or not or whatever the case is. So let's go ahead and dive in, guys. Let's go ahead and just start off with the main Elite line, right? We just got Elite Series 83. Well, let's dive into Elite Series 84. Now, in Elite Series 84, we already know the full wave. It's already up for pre-order right now on Ringside Collectibles. I would guess that these are going to be in stock any freaking day now. So you may want to cash in on that. I think the only figures that we don't know what they look like in this wave are Jeff Hardy and Roman Reigns. I don't think we've seen either of those. The rest of the figures in the wave, I would say that we have seen and we pretty much have a pretty good idea about, but let's just go ahead and run through them, guys. Let's start off with Jeff Hardy and Roman. Since we don't know what they look like, it's kind of hard to say, but I would say if Roman's updated, absolutely buy. I hope it's a pissed off head sculpt. I hope we get a man bun head sculpt. I hope it's freaking badass. That's that's what I hope. I hope it's not a vest Roman. We Unless it, it maybe a cloth wreck everyone and leave t-shirt and then, uh, you know, like a pissed off ponytail head sculpt or man bun head sculpt and then a longer hair and then for Jeff Hardy if it's an updated Jeff Hardy who the hell knows I would say yes just because I love Jeff Hardy but you may not be a massive Jeff Hardy fan it may be very similar to his other you know modern elites so I, I can't really say for those but let's move on to Buddy Murphy now for Buddy Murphy this one's kind of difficult because we know it's going to be in the Monday Night Messiah gear so if it's in the Monday Night Messiah gear is that worth the pickup you know it's kind of hard to say if you already have the other elite the elite 72 Buddy Murphy or the Chase variant, it's going to be in a black gear as well. And I don't know if it's worth the get, to be honest with you. You know, it's it's very specific attire, unless you're going to customize it yourself. I don't know if you really want a Monday Night Messiah Murphy, but if you do, this would be the figure for you. If you don't, well, then I don't know what to tell you. If you want to pair it with Seth Rollins and stuff, then I guess it's a must-cop, but I guess maybe we want to wait on the head sculpt before we make a decision. As far as Sheamus is concerned, this looks like every other Sheamus, but I think I like it more than the Elite 58. Uh, I would say go for it, but, you know, you may not want to. I would understand if you wanted to pass up on Sheamus's figure. On Rhea Ripley, this is a must-grab for me. I would say absolutely buy this. And, uh, you know, I love Rhea Ripley. It's an elite figure. She's going to have double-jointed knees. She's going to have really good articulation for a women's figure. And I imagine this is going to be a bomb-ass figure. Probably one of the early contenders for a female figure of the year, no doubt. Rhea Ripley is a must-cop. And then lastly, in Elite Series 84, guys, we have Angel Garza. And for me, Angel Garza, I'd say go ahead and get him. You know, it's the first time in the line. We've never seen him before. Going to have, like, the removable, you know, like, Velcro pants, I'm guessing, from Mattel. And so those should be pretty fire as well. You could probably put those on other figures. I would say Angel Garza is a must-cop. But that pretty much does it for our Elite 84 wave, guys. Let's go ahead and dive into Elite Series 85. Now, for Elite Series 85, starting out first, we have Karrion Cross. Now, this is a must-cop. I would say absolutely cop carrying cross he's going to be one of those figures that everybody's looking for i would absolutely put your pre-order in as soon as the you know the things go up i actually know that in a week's time or so i think the major wrestling figure podcast is doing a reveal with mattel like an interview and i think they're going to be unveiling new figures i guarantee elite 84 and 85 possibly 86 could be revealed on there ultimate edition macho man and edge and possibly even rick flair and stone cold steve austin are also going to be revealed there so we can stay tuned for that. Be on the lookout for that. I think it's January 26th, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm sure that, you know, all these figures will be seen and the pre-orders will go up. I would do that for Cross. So definitely put your pre-order in for Carrie and Cross. Alistair Black, I don't know, you know. I mean, it's kind of black to me. It's it's good, and I like the spike kick pad we're getting. Very similar to his Elite 73 figure. It's all black. It's got the black wrist tape on it. It has a cool entrance gear, but it is going to be in the hard rubber. And the hood is solid as well. So I don't know. I would understand if you wanted to skip it. I don't think it has any additional tattoos compared to his Elite 73. So for that reason, I would just say wait on the head sculpt, see what it looks like. I don't know if it's a 
must grab. I'm not sure. I, I don't I don't think it's an absolute must cop. So unless you've just missed out on Alistair Black, put in that pre-order and make sure you get it in using promo code MD Toys. Liv Morgan in this set, I think this is a must cop. I never got her first elite. Her first elite was a collector's edition. It was super hard to come by. And this one even looks more badass. It's gonna have better accessories, it's gonna have better articulation, and overall it just looks better. I just like the way this figure looks a lot. Liv Morgan is a must cop for me. I really like it. Next up in the set, guys, is going to be Undertaker from the Boneyard match with AJ Styles. I think this is another must cop. I really like that match. I like everything going on with it. I like the details of this Undertaker. I would say grab it. I, I like it a lot. This is a must cop for me for Undertaker in Elite Series 85. Next up, we have Bray Wyatt and Becky Lynch. We don't know what they're going to look like. Those are the last two figures we're pretty sure in the set. And so until we know what they look like, I would hold my breath on them. I wouldn't pre-order it or nothing until I know what it looks like. Because you guys know the ringside exclusive Bray Wyatt was a pretty big letdown for me. So unless they improved the sculpt and stuff and made it a khaki pants elite and did some crazy things and did some pretty cool things with this figure, I would say hold my breath on it. Don't spend your money just yet. And then for Becky Lynch, I'd wait on the head sculpt, wait on the attire, everything like that before I pull my wallet out. Because the Ultimate Edition with a head swap is absolutely great. And I think that should do it for that. But that's Elite Series 85. I'm not going to get into Elite 86 because it's way too early to tell right now. But let's move on to some other waves, guys. The Royal Rumble set. You guys know the Royal Rumble set that is at Target right now. we got Titus O'Neil, Umaga, Ultimate Warrior, and Stone Cold Steve Austin. I honestly feel like this whole wave is a cop. I really like all four figures in this set. I'm not the biggest Ultimate Warrior fan, but the, the Yellow Intercontinental Championship is epic. I love it. I like the interchangeable head sculpt with it. Umaga, I've been waiting on this freaking red attire Umaga for a long, long time. I love Stone Cold Steve Austin. He's one of my favorites of all time. And this is the best elite Stone Cold that we've ever seen. And it's in the freaking gold attire from the Royal Rumble. I love this. I can't wait to get it in hand. And then Titus O'Neil, we're finally getting our first time in the line, Elite Titus O'Neil. So I say this whole line is a must cop. I, I wouldn't put down a single damn figure for this. This is a must cop, and I would absolutely grab the full weight. Now moving on into other figures, guys. We have the ringside exclusive Ultimate Warrior figure. I don't know how I feel about this. Um, it's from the Mania. I can't remember the Mania off the top of my head. I want to say 12, where he squashed Triple H completely. And I love this attire. Like, I'm not a big Ultimate Warrior fan, as I said, but this attire is really fire, and I meant to rhyme that. It was intentional that time, Brad. This tie-dye attire is sick AF. I, I love it, absolutely. If you're an Ultimate Warrior fan, I absolutely... I mean, you're gonna cop it anyway, right? I, I think that if... You know, I'm not a big Ultimate Warrior fan, but I think seeing all of his figures up next to each other would be really epic, but this figure... I wouldn't say it's a must cop, but it's a ringside exclusive. I don't know how sought after it's going to be. You may want to buy it and then maybe resell it later on in the future, like way down the road maybe. I don't know, but there's Ultimate Warrior. Do with it what you please. I wouldn't say it's a must cop, but I think it's a pretty good opportunity to cop the Ultimate Warrior right there if you're going to cop any of them. Diving into it next, guys, we got some Ultimate Editions, right? We got Ultimate Edition Series 8. 8. I think it's Ultimate Edition Series number 8. We have Edge and Randy. Racho, macho Man Randy Savage. I don't know what the hell that was, but getting into these two, I think Edge is an absolute must cop. I like the head sculpts. I've been waiting on Edge figures. You know, we got the Elite 83 in here. We got the Guns N' Roses attire. I want the Royal Rumble return attire and everything like that. I even have a video of me reacting to his return at the Rumble. I absolutely want this figure. That's a must cop for me. Macho Man, I'm not the biggest fan of this attire they chose for Macho Man, but I still think it's a must cop. It's Macho Man. You're going to have a bunch of cool things going on with it with the interchangeable head sculpts, the double jointed arm. I honestly think every Ultimate Edition has been a must cop so far because I really like the Ultimate Edition line even though the torsos can be garbage sometimes I think these are both must cops which takes us into wave number nine which is going to be Ric Flair and Stone Cold Steve Austin and again both must cops Ric Flair is going to have an epic freaking robe on him Stone Cold Steve Austin he's going to have some other accessories not just the ones you're seeing featured here so I think this is a must cop we're going to put some middle finger hands on this guy on action figure surgery speaking of which we should have a new episode coming up this week possibly but Stone Cold Steve Austin and Ric Flair are must Cops. I would say pre-order these as well. When they go up, I think these are really great. And again, just two excellent legends. No current talents in this one, but still two of must cop figures. I would absolutely say go for it because they are Ultimate Edition. Now moving forward, guys, we do have... Uh, I, I forgot about our figure in Elite Series 84 and 85, which are the Collector's Edition, right? The Zelina Vega and the Kama figure. And I would say both are... I don't know. I, I'd say Zelina Vega is a must cop because this is going to be her last figure ever 
Turner because you guys know she's no longer with WWE. I'd say if you find this, absolutely cop it. It's going to be a really good women's figure, double jointed knees, all the goods and stuff like that. So I'd say go ahead and grab the Zelina Vega figure, comma, flashback collector, may want to grab it, things of that nature. I don't know. It's not a must cop for me, but it may be for you. But uh, I, I never find collector's edition, so I'm not even going to count on finding either one of these, to be honest with you. I never found any of the women's collector's editions except for one sensational Sherry, and that was at a Walmart like 200 miles from my home. So that that's it. I don't find them. That's just the way it is, Brad. That is the way it is. So that is your Chase Variants, or not Chase Variants, but co uh, Collector's Editions figures from 84 and 85. Speaking of which, getting into the fan takeover line, you guys know Adam Cole, Ricky the Dragon, Steamboat, Shayna Baszler, and Seth Rollins. Honestly, for you, Brad, this whole line may be skippable, to be honest with you. A bunch of them, they're pretty much just repaints. Every single one of them is a repaint. Shayna Baszler, nothing new about it except the attire. Uh, it, pretty much all these figures are the exact same way. Adam Cole's Elite, 74, uh, Elite 71 re-release. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat is flashback exclusive Walmart. You know, the Walmart exclusive figure re-released, which was very hard to come after. So that's probably the one that I would say buy just to have for the future. And then, uh, you know, Seth Rollins is obviously a repaint of the top talents. And Shayna Baszler is a repaint of the Elite 67. So honestly, all these are skippable, but I am absolutely grabbing Rollins. Rollins and Adam Cole just because I'm big fans of both of them but I would I would obviously understand if you wanted to skip these if this was the Thanos gear Seth Rollins I'd say grab it but since it's his WrestleMania 35 attire unless you're a big Rollins fan or you love his figures or what's the case you know it's it's skippable and the same thing goes for Adam Cole because it's not War Games attire god dang so that's all I got to say about that you know that, that's pretty much what I got to say about that again Ricky the Dragon Steamboat is a re-release of that Walmart flashback exclusive figure so you may want to cop it for that reason but outside of that Brad I'd say this whole wave's skippable if you really wanted to. Speaking of which, the next figures we're going to get into, guys, is the 2-pack. The Triple H and Jeff Hardy 2-pack. Now, I love both of these. This is from their matchup on SmackDown, I do believe. I love both of these. I've been waiting on a rainbow hair Jeff Hardy like this. Not the Brew 2-pack head sculpt. This is like actually has the different colored hair and stuff. It's shirtless Jeff Hardy. It's a must cop for me. And also, I've been waiting for this Power Trip Triple H attire in the gold HHH on the front. So, I've been waiting on these. So, these are must cops for me. But again, you may want to skip them. I don't know. We're going to have to... I think we need to wait on head sculpts for these. We haven't seen the final product images and stuff. So these are a maybe. You may want to teeter on the line of them. But I would absolutely cop these if it were me. Getting into which, guys, moving forward a little bit more. We have the Decade of Domination Wave Series number 2 with Kane, Triple H, Kofi Kingston, Big Show, and Beth Phoenix. Now, for me, the Kane is an insane must-cop. I would say that's an absolute must-cop. The Triple H for me is a must-cop. And I would say the Big Show is a must-cop. The ones you may want to skip out on, I would say Beth Phoenix. I just don't like this green attire. I don't know what it is. I'm not really big on the green attire. I love the Kofi Kingston as well. I really like the head sculpt on that. I would say all of them except Beth Phoenix really are must cops. Just because I really like what's going on with the rest of them. I'm a huge Triple H fan. I've been waiting on that figure for a while. I already have the figure. But instead, you know, I, I still want to grab a few for fix-ups on action figure surgery because I got some bomb-ass ideas for it. But the Kane is a re-release of the Ringside Exclusive, and that is something I've been waiting on forever. And you have, you know, the maskless Kane moment. You got all that stuff going on. The Big Show's a really great head sculpt. The Kofi is really excellent, even though it has painted on knee pads. But nonetheless, man, this whole wave is pretty sick. And if you wanted to grab Beth, I would understand grabbing Beth. I'm still going to grab Beth. I just don't think she's a must-cop. I'm not really feeling the attire. So, therefore, I, you know, I, I just would skip it, I think, if I were just, you know, just a, a Randy collector, you know, at random. Is that all the freaking figures, man? I feel like we have a little bit more here. Let's let's go ahead and just cover this wave just because. And this is going to be the Fan Central Takeover Series number two, which is going to feature Wolverine Gargano, Randy Orton, X-Pac, and Christian. The only figure from this wave I'd say completely skip would be Christian. I think that's a waste of a figure, to be honest with you, because we've already seen it, unless you missed the first time around. But, uh... Uh, I guess I'm just upset with the polage and, you know, the outcome of it, but Gargano's a must-cop, Randy Orton's a must-cop, and I think X-Pac is a must-cop. So I like this whole wave pretty much, but uh, I would say Gargano, Orton, and X-Pac would be my three if I had to pick three out of the four. If I had to pick two out of the four, I would go with Gargano and Orton, and if I could only pick one from the wave... This would really hurt my feelings, Brad, but I think I'd have to go with the Wolverine gear, right? You gotta go with the Wolverine gear, which is probably the way I am. Even though I love Randy Orton and everything, man, God, I love Randy Orton, but I think I'd have to go with Gargano, but... I think that's all the figures that I want to talk about that are coming soon. There's probably some more, like, Legends series, like the Ted DiBiase and the Nikolai Volkov. 
I don't know. The, I think the whole Legend series are cops. I like that whole wave there, I'm pretty sure. I really like the Chase variant do, uh, Million Dollar Man figure and everything like that. But I think that's pretty much all the stuff I wanted to cover. You guys can let me know down below which ones you're going to cop and which ones you are looking forward to copying. Maybe ones that you're not really looking forward to. All of that good stuff down in the comment section below. But if you guys uh, wanted any feedback or anything like that on figures we're going to be getting this year. Or, you know, you wanted some ideas on which ones you may want to skip out on or whatever the case may be. Hopefully this video found helpful and everything like that. Before we get out of here, guys, I do want to give a random shout out. So let's go ahead and get into our random shout out before we get out of here. This shout out is going to go to Brianna Polito. They say that a damn pile. That a damn pile from the collection video. I don't know why, but I read that and I chuckled a little bit. So I was like, you know what, Brad? I like that. That a damn pile. Fast forward, fast forward seven years. You hear somebody getting sick. The bedroom. You run in the bedroom. Your kid puked all over the damn floor. You look in the floor and what do you say? That a damn pile. That a damn pile of damn throw up, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> How stupid. I wish I had a skit for that. Maybe later. Anyways, guys, huge shout out to Brianna for that comment. I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. Thank you so guys so much. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. <gasps> Don't cross over that line, Bradley. You cross the line. I've been